Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we are going to have a look at the left out chapter under data representation chapter 2, uh, the encoding schemes and uh, today we are going to have a look at ASCII. Now let us look at the character and the string representation. So a uh, computer should recognize the codes which are typed by the user. Uh, which is basically the characters and the functions found in the standard computer keyboard and these codes are known as alphanumeric codes uh, pretty much it is nothing but the letters of alphabets the punctuation marks and uh, other special characters and numbers and the complete list of alphanumeric code we can say that it's a 26 lowercase letters 26 uppercase letters 10 numeric digits, 7 punctuation marks and uh, 20 to 40 of other characters like the addition sign, subtraction sign, backslash, forward slash etc. And the reason why a computer should recognize the character and the strings uh, codes is that as humans we will be able to give the information to the computer only in form of characters and strings and uh, to understand it the computer converts it to uh, binary form and uh, we will have a look at the different uh, encoding schemes on how this is done now we will have a look at the first encoding scheme it is called the ascii code and uh, the full form of ascii is american standard code for information interchange and this is used in uh, micro computers mini computers and mainframes and this is a 7 bit code and it can store up to 2 to the power 7 128 possible code groups and uh, pretty much we can say that it takes up one byte and uh, in this case uh, one we know that one byte is eight bits so since only seven bits are used you might wonder what is the eight bit for um, this is uh, the eight bit which is not used for the character representation is named as the parity bit and it is used for error detection um, back in uh, 70s and 80s uh, there was analog data transmission uh, so that was error prone and this parity bit was used in error detection and one might wonder uh, is 128 possible uh, code groups is enough to represent all the uh, keyboard characters and the control characters uh, if we look at the keyboard standard keyboard there are 104 characters and uh, so 128 is more than sufficient for the representation and uh, this helps in the transfer of alphanumeric information between the in, input devices output devices and the computer and the information is stored in the memory in the ascii form and uh, we have already seen that it's in the binary form and in this case it is stored in the ascii form and uh, extended ascii came a little later and it like uh, when the uh, transmission became digital and uh, the error cases were not that much so all the 8 bits were used and uh, it this can represent up to 2 to the power 8 250 dif 56 different characters and uh, there is a purpose for creating this uh, encoding schemes because uh, we like uh, we use different devices uh, which are connected with each other and uh, these devices are manufactured by different companies so when there is a communication between uh, different devices manufactured by different uh, companies uh, having the same character character code for communication helps in maintaining a standard let us look at the listing of the ascii code we can see the different uh, characters uh, control functions uh, which are listed and its decimal binary octal and the hexadecimal equivalent and one other thing you can uh, notice is that in the binary column uh, only seven bits are used for the representation and the uh, most significant bit is always zero this is because only seven bits are used for the representation 
Now let us take an uh, example, an uh, encoded message, an ASCII encoded message is given and uh, we will decode it uh, using the table uh, given on the side like uh, uh, 100100 equivalent to the character the H and uh, 100101 uh, looking at the table we can see that it is E and 100110. Uh, we can see that it is L and 101000 it is P and so the message which is encoded in ASCII is uh, equivalent to the uh, character or the string HELP help. Another example we can see how a basic code is converted to its ASCII equivalent and uh, the statement go to 25 is an uh, basic programming language statement it says that go to uh, 25th line of the code and uh, when we convert it to its ascii equivalent we are going to look at the table and uh, replace it with the uh, binary uh, values and uh, and that is represented here and uh, if you are wondering what is basic uh, basic is an uh, one of the simplest high level programming language and the com commands would be similar to uh, english uh, language and it can be learned uh, very easily and uh, basic uh, was a language which was very popular uh, during the 80s and the full form of basic is beginners all purpose symbolic instruction code with this we are done with the uh, encoding scheme ASCII and we will look at other encoding schemes in the next videos and uh, if you like these videos please subscribe share and uh, like it thank you